What's going on folks, this is Dimitri back again. In this video, we're gonna do five bullet points on the market and what the news going on in the financial world so that you know we can do better financial decisions and see what's going on in the world so that we can correct and do corrections and the type of thing. And let's basically discuss it, you know, financial uh, news, what's going on. Um, I kind of decided to take that avenue as well because uh, yeah, I like to talk about stuff, you know. So, <laughs> and uh, yeah, well, let's jump right into it. So, um, what really caught my attention is that um, uh, on the uh, website CNBC and uh, for the um, stuff that uh, is going on there, and uh, there was a top top five news in the uh, personal finance section, and I decided, you know what, there's some something good to share with folks, and um, that's basically what I want to, yeah, you know, we just talk about that stuff. So. Um, what I like about this is the 401k could save this hidden risks experts um, say. Um, I don't know who the experts are, but you know, um, there are experts, <laughs> I guess. Obviously, here's what the, they need to know and the folks and you need to know as well uh, for what's going on there. I mean, honestly, it's nothing crazy there um, that they talked about and there are financial risks here. Um, single stock can be incredibly dangerous. Well, it's everywhere. Uh, it's not only in the 401k. So if you put basically all the things into one basket, um, that's incredibly, incredibly dangerous because you're basically taking and putting everything, you know, right to the moon type thing, YOLO, whatever, all that stuff. Uh, and uh, <laughs> that, that, doesn't, that doesn't end well uh, a lot of times. So, you know, uh, well, most of them, sometimes it will as well. But, um, uh, you know, let, let's start from the top. So it's actually interesting what 401k is and, um, you know, talk about it. Um, it's uh, very interesting that I learned that uh, I learned that the, what 401k is and what it stands for. Uh, it was interesting to know that it's uh, right. I think it's a section in the tax code that uh, provides the information about uh, savings accounts that the company that the company can contribute to and you know all the, all that good stuff and that's kind of uh got into a name of a uh, uh, retirement you know because most of the people they uh that's a section about the retirement how it's going to be taxed um in the tax code i think it's uh mentions there and that's just you know my take from uh hearsay she say so that's my you know understanding if it's wrong let me kind of know in the comments below so that's for sure so keep me keep me keep me on my toes guys and uh, but yeah, that's my understanding, and uh, that's pretty much what it says and what it talks about. But uh, obviously, for one case, um, this is the setup where um, folks and companies contribute one portion uh, or portion of the earnings that you do that they give you to the company to the company uh, or to the uh, your account. And there's obviously um, agreements there how. How, like the, how often they're gonna give it to you. Uh, actually, every paycheck really, I think most of the companies do that. Uh, but uh, how soon can you um, actually take that? Like, you know, when, the, when, when you know, putting in, you know, all that, taking this out or like, you know, move it to another account or your personal, personal account, things like that. If you, when you decide when the vesting period, um, vesting period real quick is that when you, um, you know, for the period of time you're working with a company, let's say uh, you're working with the company for two years, right? The vesting period, they say they would tell you, oh, the, your vesting period is two years. What that means is, is that um, you need to work with the company for two years uh, and then only then uh, you will be able to take all the money out. You know, so I, I learned it kind of hard way because, you know, I've been investing with this kind of, you know, with 401k and everything like that, but then um, I got a better opportunity, I went for it, um, but I worked only one year with the company and they say, oh, you didn't work for like two years. The vesting period is two years. So the, to take out 100% of your, of that contribution, everything, um, you will be able to, you know, you won't be able to because you worked, you didn't work that period of time, you know, and that's kind of like, it was kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of bitter, bitter news to understand, to learn and, but, you know, it is what it is. So. Uh, made that agreement and uh, without the proper knowledge, but you know, it worked out well. So I, I took the better chunk of money that I 
Um, so it was like I think seventy five percent it was the grievance. So I took it out. So it was it, it went well. It went well. Um, but yeah, so four one ks in general. So this is the retirement account in the United States. If you don't know, uh, and you know overseas, it's kind of like you know, um, it's not the like it's kind of became official sort of name between the companies and things like that when you employee person and stuff uh 401k 401k so that everybody's just like hey 401k what is my 401k contribution rate and things like that um it's uh, kind of in the sense that hey company contributes uh you contribute and company contrib contributes too you know so you contrib contribute this percentage comp comp country company contributes to the same like you know either same percentage like percent to percentage up to a certain point or um uh 50 percent uh 50 of the percent 50 50 i guess half of the percent there you go so uh meaning that let's say you contribute from your paycheck you contribute to your retirement three percent uh and then so the company the other company will do the same three like basically through giving you not like not you directly but they put money into that account for you like well not for you but to your account to that account three percent too and then if you go like, I hey, I want to contribute five percent from my paycheck to that account, they will contribute. So company will contribute three percent, percent to percent, right? Also three percent, and then they contribute like half of the percent to, can like to the, up to five percent. So it gets a little bit complicated, but at the end of the day, um, it's basically extra. Like you can think of it as a extra money in your pocket if you work that vested period with the company and um honestly it's good but you know if that money is locked and uh, i mean not locked, but if you take it out you will have a penalty pay in taxes so because it's technically considered as a retirement um but yeah so and this is the news so that they said uh you know there's just you know have a uh background of what we're talking about is that's what happens there so um the hidden risks is that if you put money into one stock right so um i mean there's always risk there so how uh, 401k works is like money flow we just talked about but the the means by how it works is basically there's going to be open an account with like let's say fidelity right i have this mark, mark here but that person will use so let's say that's a brokerage account for stocks and that's where they open accounts um sometimes it does sometimes other other places there are a bunch of other other companies do that and uh, they open accounts right so obviously you have access to that and the company has access to that in the sense that they contribute money to it. so and that's where like they put three percent you put three percent so from that amount so and uh yeah so that's basically what they put putting in and that's where um when they set it up so that account looks like 401k right and that account is uh create being created for that um and then uh usually like they give you like they send you a bunch of paper um saying like hey you know here's what like our mutual funds are if you don't know what mutual funds are uh, check it out on YouTube. There's a lot of information about it. So, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't have that information yet. But if you thought of me and wanted to look for me, uh, I highly, highly, highly appreciate it. And like and subscribe down below if you want to hear from it. And let me know in the comments below. But uh, I'm not, they create the account there. And um, basically, they buy a mutual fund or stock or ETF and all that. Um, any any of that and then basically they pay they buy buy shares for you uh, under your name basically or under your under that in that account so they contribute money and then it automatically buys more shares buys more shares buys more shares um, but some companies they don't do that like you have to actually select which uh, mutual fund you're gonna select and utilize and all that so uh, bear in mind that this is important you yeah. know so and that's basically what they're talking about so if they put if you put 
uh, your 401k that contribution right to so when the contribution happens when they do it like into only one stock because you technically you can unselect it and say hey i want this like apple stock let's say not sponsored but apple stock right and then you just like, pour money into it with 401k that can be dangerous that's what basically they're talking about um yeah i mean yes yes so nothing crazy here um consider rolling over yes uh that's another good point uh i really um point myself into the spot where they uh, put you know put myself into a spot where i forgot to like either select the 401k or i didn't really uh, know what's going on there at the very beginning when i um you know started working um there was like i think a year well it was not really vested period there so i didn't really um lose lost lost much because you know um yeah it's kind of like uh, the vested period wasn't over and i left the company and there was really nothing so yeah it's basically that so but i always already i didn't invest any money into the market at that time so it was kind of like yeah my money was just basically sitting in my bank account so it's kind of like you know what hey so nothing crazy there so that's pretty much what they're talking about in this but you know as i was like it's not really big issue but it's good to know when i when i read that i was like hey i never really talked talk about 401k what what is the what is it and uh, how can it be beneficial to you so but yeah here we go so this is one point so the second news that i want to talk about is that the half of the americans say achieving retirement security will take a miracle and uh why inflation is to blame well um i can tell you that much that uh reading this post was uh very interesting to see that um half of the americans looks to be um you know having struggle with this obviously so security score improved according to new research um many americans uh, yet many americans retirement co um, confidence has been shaken which is understandable inflation prices go up everything goes up um so you know that's can be tough however the um what you call it retirement really didn't go up you know so that's kind of kind of kind of a uh, shaky deal there so and uh when the server results came because their price index posted yeah biggest monthly gain was that you know in 2023 so yeah like it says half of the americans had some problems with it so um yeah it's a tough choices and that's pretty much why um why a lot of americans um you know and you know most of the time and basically why i propagate usually uh the idea of you know extra income extra payments you know extra like um things that you can utilize as a as a you know american citizen and things like that you know as you participate as if you're like living here you, you can participate in a, you know rentals you can participate like you can take out uh can go and buy a rental property and things like that so that you can tap into the environment that or you get extra cash going for going for and how important it is to have um education in the financial world and uh really what strikes me here is that um um the system that i like as far as i get understanding here the system is a little bit um it's 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 there but it's a little bit you know um it needs to it needs to it needs to have adjustments in the sense that you need to have more and more um you know extra income so uh because i have one person that i have in mind right now that um she got she went to get a uh, she got into real estate oh, not real estate re retirement age and even though she worked here for a long time uh, on the pharmaceutical company uh, and she was using 401k that we talked about just uh, before, she still um, has issues like she has payment for mortgage now, right, still, and she still needs to pay that out. Plus, she needs to, um, you know, obviously gen general expenses and all that. So she still kind of runs short um and that's why she was keep working keep working keep working so um you know if you start when you start the earliest that you can start you know bumping that extra income into your income flow then the better you know so if you're able to get into real estate investing you know uh, with all that uh do it if you can do like you know um 
uh, stock investments, you know, good, solid, with uh, solid understanding, do it. Because um, otherwise, uh, folks get left behind. Uh, folks get left behind. And then, uh, unfortunately, in the situation, here is that. There is an out. There is an out in this situation, you know. So let's say you're in this, you know, situation where you know like, what? Oh, man, it's a struggle. You know, I, I wanted to get into that, but, you know, it's kind of a struggle for me for that and that. Um, honestly, it's a kind of simple solution, but most of people, you know, don't go for it. And that is, you know, to relocate and, you know, move to another country, you know, let's say live somewhere else, you know, somewhere for somewhere less. Um, so for some, like, there, where is the less income needed to uh, get by and things like that. So um, another person that comes to mind where I was, uh, you know, talking about it, you know, just in general conversation, he was like, you know what? And um, I was actually was thinking to go to Morocco, you know, uh, go back, uh, you know, I had, so he from Morocco and he wants to go back, you know, when he's retired and uh, we'll go spend time and spend the rest of his time there. So, and that's pretty much, you know, he's like, you know, I'm going to be living there like a king, to be honest, like, and it's not sponsoring just Morocco or anything like that, you know, even though they have some bad news going on there, unfortunately, the months and prayers for them. But other than that, like, you know, it's a, it's an option to go and be and live in another country as a um, workaround, so to speak, you know, and it's going to be more fun. <laughs> Learn a new language, new that, so. Um, and uh, there's a lot of people who, you know, travel and share a lot. So I would encourage you to check that idea to see, you know, if you get, you know, um, income from a retirement and it's not enough to live in the States, hey, there is an option where you can live pretty good in another country, you know, on the paycheck of the United States, from the United States, you know, so uh, as an option. So, and that's a good option. So for example, some of the countries, they are really, really, yeah, you, you will be living good, real good, yeah, real good. So, and that's pretty, that's that's another way. So that's what my kind of thoughts on that and uh, a takeaway uh, from this news here. So it's kind of like, hey, you know, there's a life change that you can make, you know, and it's going to be fun. So another one that was really, really kind of struck me off is that uh, the IRS plan to use AI. Oh, man. Well, basically, the, as far as I understood, the idea is that uh, IRS, once again, want to hit rich people uh, with more audits um, in the sense that, you know, hey, if your income is more than $400,000 a year, the uh, machine learning and AI, AI will be the ones who will be, um, well, they, they wanted to do that. So they, they, I, I don't think they implemented it yet, but... They wanted to go that route and uh, see how it goes. Honestly, I think there's some some of the things is politically motivated, I think. And um, that's how pretty much the reason for it is there. So I would say that, you know, I mean, from a person who is under $400,000 a year, I think they don't need to worry about that much or like, you know, see what, what's going on there. But again, um, you know, if it's above that, that might be a possibility that comes down our, the pipeline, you know. So, and I would encourage, you know, like there is nothing really, um, you know, <laughs> unless you get reelected somewhere and then you just dismantle this. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. So it's just the way um, things are rolling right now with this uh, with this AI and uh, machine learning stuff. So most of the times, like it's 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 good, and I like this statement here. It's important to have the tax uh, records straight. If but again, if you are above this above this trademark, right, right there. So if you don't, if you're not really, it's not going to be really affecting you. So nothing really to worry about there. If you're not above four hundred thousand dollars a year, which um, many people aren't really, so nothing to worry about. If you are above that, um, I believe you actually can get around it and do. You know, um, it's not. You know, it's not. I don't. I don't consider it tax evasion as you just utilizing the options that is there. You know, as a tax provision, and you basically claiming. You know, hey, I have my. I have my company going on. I do this, I pay myself like, you know, whatever estimated range, which is kind of interesting, you know, if you consider um, the, the the richest, like the richest governor, I think official is the president. And he get as far as I heard, he gets this amount of money. So I'm, uh, 
I'm I'm confused. <laughs> but you know, the, some of the some of the things you just think of it as like, why is it four hundred thousand? Why is it not five hundred thousand? It's kind of like, right? <laughs> it's so like you know, it's kind of like, hmm, you know, things things you start thinking about it like kind of uh, in that way. is that IRS wants to hit people with more audits. Um, yeah, I guess they want to keep it up, you know, keep 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 the keep the money in the flow. Um, and sometimes, you know, I guess they want to eliminate the human error. I don't know the reasoning behind like the plans, why they doing that. But as far as the as far as the as far as the making and actions there, it is there. They, or they plan to do it anyway. So make me correction. So it is still in planning. So it might not be actually happening, but still a thing, a thing to know about. So yeah. Uh, very interesting. Next stop is uh, Social Security Retirement um, may grow um, $57 per month. <laughs> I don't even go with it. I don't want to even, I don't want to even go there. Uh, like $57, oh, $57 is maybe like one gas tank like a month if you don't drive that much. I'm not sure if it's even like reason like i don't know like it's just my thoughts on that medicare premiums effects oh there it is so b premiums effect increase okay see i don't know man i it's it's i i feel i i don't think i i, I don't think i like it i don't think i like it i mean it's a news you know see if it's good in the sense that's how good it is for us um most of it is more like um the topic is the <laughs> time <laughs> folks who are like in the uh, a fire age bracket in the sense that like uh, I from my standpoint it doesn't really affect me per se but it's kind of it's kind of uh, I uh, for me fifty seven dollars is like nothing come on man like it's like it's not gonna change much I mean yeah maybe once a month but like fifty thousand fifty seven dollars I don't know I don't know man it's it's a little bit it's a little bit off out there so it's just it's just a little bit too much like not even too too much and not even too little so i i don't even know i don't want to go there so and um yeah inflation breakdown oh i like this one because uh in august is 3.7 so uh it is getting down so you know actually a uh, matter of fact uh inflation rate today as i was checking it before i i was jumping on the stream here it was interesting to see that it's very it's going steadily now it's not going steadily low uh in um august 31 so it, i think it's this one is yeah so today's september so it's uh, really nice to see that um it's going a little bit down so it was in july it was 18.18 3.18 and then 366 367 which is good in the sense that you know it's it's the time where uh, you know, you might want to be considering like the full scale of things from 21 when the start where they start raking the high rate hike. Um, they they rode all the way to 22, and they got into a position where 9%, but then all the way down. So when they hiked the rates, so that helped out a lot. So what it means for us, it means good because uh, sooner or later, uh, folks will start jumping into real estate into more that and the uh, uh, markets will start going a little bit up 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 so and uh, yeah i would consider you guys um check this out so for you and uh just keep a note keep 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 you guys posted with that so um i hope you guys enjoyed this video so i want to be doing those you know five bullet uh news uh sections and my thoughts on those uh every day try to consistently uh every now and then so you know Hopefully that will be uh, beneficial and, you know, we're going to talk about things, how it's related. And I think it's going to be beneficial and, uh, you know, uh, from the standpoint of getting, uh, you know, financial freedom for the for the kingdom's sake and for the uh, for the gospel. So that, you know, that your financial wealth will be better and just for your financial situation in the family of yours will be better, um, you know, so that, you know, can be can be um can be a blessing to uh, other people and person next to you, you know, so to your neighbor. So thank you guys again for watching. So that was Dimitri. I am out. See you guys next time. Cheers. Bye-bye.